Welcome to this edition of Avery Denison Reflective Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to talk about roll-to-roll -roll lamination best practices. Roll-to-roll -roll lamination is a more efficient way of making flat sheet signs. It allows you to continuously feed in the substrate without having to change your sheeting as you roll directly off of the, the roll material itself. This is much faster when you look at that compared to hand crank laminators where you're having to align each individual sign face or manually we're using a hand roller or a squeegee. There are multiple manufacturers of roll to roll laminators. The main things you're looking for though are tension control on your unwind and rewind shafts and be able to control the pressure at the laminating nips either through gap adjustment or air pressure. So one of the most important steps in the setup of the roll-to-roll -roll laminator is proper gap adjustment. To do so, go ahead and load your substrate. You want to make sure you center it between the rolls, because if it is an air pressure controlled laminator, the rolls will tilt from one side to the other unless it's centered, so you get nice even distribution of pressure. Using the gap control, and drop the top nip so it is in contact with the substrate so you can no longer see daylight, and then give an additional half crank to the gap control to ensure you're giving sufficient pressure, but not too much pressure where you could be causing damage to the reflective sheeting. So next step is to load and align the sheeting roll. So we're using an automatic chuck so we don't have to adjust on the end cores. But what's, once it's in place, we'll want to verify that you're centered correctly, which we look like we're in good shape here. So next step is to pull off some sheeting and feed it around your nip and back through. You peel back the liner. And then I'll pull that through and attach it to the rewind. So next, you want to take that liner we stripped off and web it up to the rewind. So when you're webbing, you want to make sure to stay underneath this bar. This bar is what's used to control tension and the strip angle. And then using a single piece of tape, align your liner and tape it down to the core. That single piece will help the liner to self-align as you start. So next we need to close the gap and pre-feed some material so we can align the webs. So I've got a piece of scrap material here, simple as just placing it between the nips, between the sheeting and the nip itself. Close the nip and run some material through. And you can see it all starts to self-align. One thing to notice though, is you see your rewind on the liner is very tight. It's actually running right on this bar. We want to reduce the tension slightly so we can start to create a loop so that we're not stressing anything as we run it through. All right, so now that we've set the gap and loaded and lined the roll, we're ready to start running some blanks. One thing to note though, anytime you're gonna be handling metal or aluminum, make sure you wear some cut gloves. It just prevents any hand injuries that can happen from handling sharp objects. So, Make sure you, you align your blank between your sheeting and then set your edge guide so that it, you've got a straight edge along one edge to keep you from wandering. We're set and now we can run.